totally honest, I wasn't sure what my life was gonna look like after swimming. I had to retire due to injury at 23 years old. And then I'm sitting there as a 23 year old, having never had an internship, never had a job, because this was my job. This is what I had done since I was five years old. And so I have no idea what the future looked like and it was absolutely terrifying. I am Missy Franklin Johnson. I am most known for being an Olympic swimmer. I competed in 2012 and 2016. I have six Olympic medals, five of them are gold, and I am an 11-time world champion and four-time world record holder. I currently live in Nashville, Tennessee with my soulmate of a husband and our two-year-old daughter and our Bernie's Mountain Dog, and feel very grateful for all the work that I continue to do. Um, both in and out of the sport. Being totally honest, I wasn't sure what my life was gonna look like after swimming. I had to retire due to injury at 23 years old. It's not like a gradual ease out. It is just a dead end stop, you are done. Like there's no more of this, no more competition, no more training, and you are truly left lost. And then I'm sitting there as a 23 year old, having never had an internship, never had a job, because this was my job. This is what I had done since I was five years old. And so I had no idea what the future looked like and it was absolutely terrifying. I had a little bit of heads up because I had been trying for 18 months to overcome this injury. So it was an 18 months of just absolute roller coaster of emotions, of fighting so hard to stay in the sport that I love so much and that I had so much left to give in and my body simply telling me no over and over and over again and having to emotionally deal with that and understand that this may be a choice I have to make and it may just be made for me was really, really tough. And I think that that is amplified if you are someone whose identity and self-worth has been entangled with your success and failure as an athlete. And at that level, it, it takes so much to have that not happen. And so I 100% was in that space where I wasn't sure what else I had to offer the world other than swimming a 20406 in a 200 backstroke. Going through that time, having to almost relearn who I was, what I wanted, what I wanted to do, and the impact I could make, but also what else was I passionate about? I didn't have time over the last 20 years of my life to, to learn about the other things that I was interested in or excited in. I did know that I wanted to remain in the sporting space. I just so believe in the power of sport and what it can do because swimming has given me so many tools that at the time I didn't realize because I was just a teenager having fun and doing what she loved. And now I'm using these tools to grow into the woman, the professional, the mom, the wife that I've always dreamt of being. And the best way I could think to say thank you was give as much as I could back to it. So I work with multiple organizations on that front. I work with the Loria Sport for Good Foundation, which is a global foundation that was founded by Nelson Mandela. I'm now vice chair of the global board of that foundation, and we fund projects all over the world that use sport to uplift their communities and young boys and girls. I do a ton of work with the USA Swimming Foundation, which is the philanthropic side of USA Swimming, where we raise awareness um, and fund swim lessons to prevent drowning rates across our country. I love working with companies that I'm super, super passionate about. It's been so amazing getting to work with brands that I love and that I use every single day and I get to engage with them and their communities and that's something that brings me so much joy. I've learned that I like a lot of different things and now I have the time and energy to do them and I didn't have that before. <laughs> My dream job has always been being a mom, so now the fact that I get to be a mom to this literal best two-year-old ever, and I'm not biased, like that's just a fact, is amazing. And being a wife, family to me has always been my number one. Uh, I always will be. If I had to give one lesson to share with other people, it would be that the destination is amazing, but 
the journey is what makes it worthwhile. I think sometimes as athletes, but also as human beings, we get so focused on where we're trying to go that we forget to stop and look around at what's going on in front of us in the moment. That was something from my athletic career that obviously getting to an Olympics and winning a gold medal was so special. But when I look back, what I remember are the Saturday morning practices with my high school team, with my college team. I remember the Friday night dinners before a big swim meet the next day. And that's what life is, right? We're constantly working to be the best versions of ourselves. We're constantly working to achieve new goals, but we need to remember to stop and enjoy the journey along the way because the journey is life.